On this episode of What Are We Doing in Ginger Snap Custom Headquarters Basement, I'm going to show you guys all the head gasket replacement components that I got for Casper. So head gaskets, intake gaskets, and everything else. I've got valve covers, I've got injection lines, I've got other things behind me. So I'm going to flip the camera around. We're going to talk about what we need to do head gaskets successfully in Casper. And hopefully, let's cross our fingers, never have to do them again. Alrighty. So let's talk about this real quick. These are Victor Ryan's head gaskets, as you can see, heavy firing, and they are extremely high quality. I actually like these over the Molly ones that I got last year that I kept blowing over and over again in blue. So I'm trying Victor's. I've had good luck with them in the past. I actually ran these in Nightmare, the sled pulling truck, and never had a problem. Next, I've got regular old Felpro intake manifold gaskets. They don't see tons of abuse, so I figured I'd just get the, the bare bones Basic minimum, I've run these in all the trucks and never had a problem. Something you will need for your head studs are sealant. It is a Permatex high temp thread locker, thread sealer. This goes on the end of the stud that goes into the engine block to prevent coolant from working its way up the shaft of the stud. So there's our gaskets. No, I do not have valve cover gaskets yet. I'm gonna look into getting the orange silicone style like our buddy Josh got over at Manshed Motors and try that out. Here's our valve cover. So I'm pretty impressed with the driver's side one. So are the spiders apparently. And it's very high quality. I really can't complain. Passenger one, I'm a big fan of how it looks. You can see where your CDR port goes up here. Everything is the way it should be, form, fit, function. I've already set these on another set of heads and they look good. My gripe about this though, and some of you will tell me it's not that big a complaint, is the steel wool in here. The wool packing is free and free floating. It's falling out. I've actually picked up multiple pieces off the floor. So I'm probably gonna end up disassembling one of my other damage valve covers and put that down inside because I really don't wanna risk dropping something down in an engine at higher PM and possibly damaging the valve train. Next, we're gonna talk about these KB Diesel Performance. They are brand new injection lines for DS4. Casper blew one at UCC last year when bracket racing for ODR and Dirty Hooker Diesel saved my butt, TIG welding it to get me down the track. It's actually still in the truck, but it's finally starting to crack and leak again. So I bought brand new and realistically they're stainless they're mandrel bent they're beautiful all new hardware they've got new nuts on them seals and they've got all the clips and brackets here on the side so i think that's going to be a perfect addition to getting things closed up obviously arp head studs because i'm never doing this again if i bend a rod i bend a rod the s300 doesn't care another kb diesel performance item are these beautiful new exhaust manifold bolts and studs they sell an entire kit here they are hardened bolts and because i live in the rust belt and casper's and exhaust manifold bolts are trash i got new ones and so far kb diesel is the only place i've been able to find them so i was rather ecstatic to even get a set because i've been looking for a long time so that was good kb also sells the donuts and the new mounting hardware that goes into the manifolds for the turbo crossover pipe. So that's kind of a nice little combination deal there where you can get everything you need for your, your manifold to go back on the head, but you can also have everything you need to put your crossover back on. So speaking of crossovers, they sell a nice, beautiful, manual bent turbo crossover pipe. Nice new flares, flanges. They are stainless. They are one piece. They are a very nice piece of equipment. I like these over the diamond eye kit, and to be completely frank, I like them better than if you were to have a, a ball flange in the middle or anything else. So this is really the way to go. If you're gonna have a work truck that sees a lot of off-road action, definitely uh, consider the KB Diesel one-piece mandrel bent turbo crossover pipe, because it's worth it. And then I have brand new Promax cylinder heads. These are the same kind that I had on Nightmare and that I had on Blue. And as you can see, these are very high quality. Down inside, there's no flashing, there's no goop, and 
realistically the beds for the glow plugs look great top and bottom and the deck themselves are actually very high quality so this is probably the nicest set of promax heads i've had and i would not hesitate on buying yet another set i've had three to date and done four sets installed they come with brand new valve springs and components so that's our pile of parts that's all we need to be able to do casper's head gasket job and hopefully i'll never have to do it again so hopefully a little walkthrough helped you guys out a little bit um it's currently zero degrees and snow and the odds of me getting the head gaskets done in casper anytime soon is slim to none because i've taken a promotion at work life happens things are getting kind of crazy and I've got house projects with the yin yang and I'm still trying to help finish my dad's 54 Chevy Suburban chassis. So hopefully in April, if I get lucky, I'll get to do the head gaskets in Casper. As we do that, I'll do a video and explain how to do head studs in the truck, not just head gaskets. And that way you can see how they're installed, how they come out. And the other thing I'm gonna show you guys is every tool you need. I'm working on getting a workbench to put down out in the garage. That way I can have all the tools laid out. I'll have all the things to clean the heads and that way everybody can see it. So thanks for watching. And if you run into questions, feel free to PM us on the Facebook page. Thanks.